Nevada in the United States is facing its worst ever drought in decades. Authorities have, uh, have been alarmed as Lake Mead, which caters to 75% of the irrigation needs, is now drying up. Officials are now left with no option but to take measures in order to keep the water wastage in check. They are going after homeowners in Las Vegas who have been careless with water management. Our next report telling you more. Drought in the American state of Nevada is only intensifying. Authorities have declared war on water waste. Water levels in Lake Mead is at an all-time low. This has raised concerns because the lake supplies water to Nevada, California, Arizona and Mexico. Residents who keep water running after watering their grass are being pulled up. Neighborhoods are being patrolled to check that sprinklers are not left open or unattended. I mainly drive around the city of Las Vegas and I just uh, look for any kind of water waste violations that are occurring. Um, so that can include anything such as uh, water excess runoff, water running off of the property, anything that's malfunctioning, uh, anything broken, so like a broken sprinkler, broken drip emitter, irrigation system leak, anything like that. So what I'm doing right now Officials say that the goal is to educate rather than punish. Careless homeowners receive a written explanation of how they have violated the rules. While some are left off with warnings, others are slapped with hefty fines if they repeat the offense. Just this year alone, since January, we've already done over 5,000 water waste investigations. Uh, typically in a given year, we're doing tens of thousands of investigations. Not all of those result in a fee or a fine, but a lot of them do. In fact, just this year, we've collected more than $100,000 in water waste fines and fees. The fines start at $80, and then for every subsequent violation that occurs, that fine doubles. So from $80 to $160 to $320, all the way up to $1,200. Um, so it is a significant penalty to waste water, and it's actually intended to be that way. Under a law passed last year, non-functional grass in and around Las Vegas has to be removed. This includes commercial, neighborhood association and multi-family properties. This means grass that does not serve any purpose other than aesthetics must be removed. Lawmakers think that this will save millions of gallons of water a year. Look. Lawns are going the way of the dinosaur here in Southern Nevada. They are the largest water user, certainly from an outdoor perspective within our community. And to be honest with you, they really don't provide any significant benefit. We find that lawns and front yards don't get used. They just sit there and drink our water supply. So if you have a lawn in Southern Nevada and the only time you're walking on it is when you're pushing a lawnmower, we consider that non-functional grass and we encourage you to replace that lawn with drip irrigated trees and plants. Tens of millions of people in the southwestern United States rely on Lake Mead. The lake's water level has plunged from 100% capacity in 1999 to around 30% today. Experts say that it would require several years of good snowpack to revive the lake to adequate levels. People ask me, like, hey, what do we need to do to fill up Lake Mead again? I need over a decade of above average snowfall in the Colorado Rockies to make that happen. And I'm not even getting your typical average year of snowfall. We have evaporation and lack of water. Those two combined, just not a good situation for our future. Bureau Report, we on, Wild is One. We on now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.